Hello and welcome to TechMac. Subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for latest notifications. So it is the second part of the basic Linux command. If you haven't watched the first part, go to the channel and watch it. So in this video, I will show you some basics command of the Linux in Parrot OS. So let's get started. So now open a command prompt. So the first command for today is echo echo command helps us move some data usually text into a file for example echo space hello comma my name is mac double arrow file name So here is our new .txt file which we created using echo and as you can see it contains a sentence hello my name is Mac. So you can use echo command to write in existing files also so as you can see it's already the existing file and I write the same sentence in it so the next command is cat cat command only displays the content of a file it is usually used to easily view programs so now we use the cat command to show the content of the file as you can see here is the sentence which we write earlier so the next command is nano the nano command is a good text editor that donates keywords with color and can recognize most languages. You can create new files or modify a file using this editor. As you can see hello is erased from the file so the next command is sudo sudo means super user do So the 
the super user do command is used for giving the super user access to a normal command. For example, sudo su, which means super user do super user, which we are going to log in as a super user. So as now you can see, we are on we are in the root directory, and earlier we are in the user directory. You can execute anything in the root directory. You have the full privilege of the system to do anything. Now exit. We are back in the user directory now. So the next command is df. df command used to see the available disk space in each of the partition in your system. So as you can see it shows all the available partitions next command is df slash m slash m means megabytes now it shows all the data in megabytes form so the next command is uname uname shows the information about the system in you are working so as you can see it shows the linux if you use uname slash a it gives the full name of the distro you are using so the next command is app get apt works with the packages in the linux command line it requires the super user access and it installs the packages and updates various things as you can see you can use apt space get app get command for these functions for example app get update So as you can see it's not getting update it's showing the permission denied so now we are going to use sudo command means super user do and here our update are started We take another example. Now we we are going to install a packet using the command sudo apt get install. The packet we are going to install is Wireshark. As you can see, the package is already installed. Now we are going to install another packet this time Metasploit framework As you can see it is also already installed So the next command is hostname Use hostname to know your name in your host or network. Basically, it displays your name and IP address. 
So as you can see the host name of my machine is parrot. Hostname slash small i. It gives you the local IP address of the machine and hostname space slash, slash capital I. It gives you the public IP of your machine. So the next command is ping. Use ping to check your connection to a server. So now we are going to ping the Google by typing ping space google.com. So as you can see we are getting reply from the server of Google so the next command is zip use zip to compress file into a zip archive Basically, it's an archived file which is safe from virus and other things. For that, type zip space slash r space the name of archive space the content which we are going to compress in archive. Basically, the file name space enter. As you can see, a mac.zip is created and it contains the file mac.txt which we added in the command prompt. So the another command is unzip which is used to unzip the zip archives. So just type unzip space archive name and hit enter. So now as you can see her mac.txt file is here. Here is the file which we extracted from the zip. Now clear to clear all the terminal and exit. And we are done here. Thank you for watching. Like, comment and share and don't forget to subscribe our channel.